many shifts scoring two straight touchdowns with traces in there. You guys, as players, you go in like fourth down, give it to Trace. Like he's your guy. He's always been your guy. Yeah, um, he's, a, he's been a leader for us for so long. Um, I think at the point in the game we picked the field goal. I, think, I thought that was the right decision because our defense has been playing so well. Um, obviously, if you look back, you can make your argument whether you go to one fourth down. Um, but we trust our coaches and whatever they say to do, that's what we're going to do. I think it's just the youth we have on the roster. Um, we have a lot of veteran guys on offense and defense, so they can't be a part of special teams as much um, as some of the redshirt guys and, and the redshirt sophomores, stuff like that. Um, so I think it, uh, youth kind of showed up for us this year. Um, kind of worked through it towards the end of the season, and unfortunately showed up again today, I think. Did you say anything to, to Jake? What, you know, when he has a couple of misses, what, yeah. you know, how do you kind of respond to that? Yeah, it's tough. Um, there's really never the, the right thing to say. Um, you never really can find that. When, when someone misses a field goal, it's, it's a big deal. Um, obviously, the first one he'd like to have back. Um, it just missed the right upright. Um, and the second one, I think, was a combination um, of the trajectory and also a little penetration. So it's kind of hard. And when you come back and make the make the third field goal, um, it makes you feel better. But at the end of the day, we got to be more consistent as a whole. Can you can you maybe just put your finger on on where that consistency went? I mean, I know you touched on the younger players, but um, do, do you spend enough time on it in practice, like that kind of stuff? I know, obviously, you guys do, but you know, what's your take on that? Yeah, we spent a lot of time on it in practice. We dedicated two practices to it for bowl prep because we knew it was a point of emphasis. Um, and who knows, maybe it's not all the players aren't engaged during those practices. Um, trust, trust in the coaching staff is also an issue. Um, I think that's what we need to improve as, as a program. Um, but I think struggling on special teams kind of leads to struggling in all phases. So um, we take a lot of responsibility for kind of what happened. How, how do you how do you collectively get everyone to buy in? Yeah, that's that's the tough part when you have 125 guys that come from different backgrounds. Um, it's tough, and I think it starts with the guys in our locker room. Um, we got a lot of good leaders coming back that have played a lot of football here, and I think um, that'll help out in the long run. Thank you.